All right, guys, I just wanted to do a quick PSA for this week. So let's go ahead and jump into the new information that's coming. First off, um, we have new orb missions starting. Uh, we also have the Goku Jr. event coming, and we have the Great Ape Rebirth. So there's, there's three big things that happen. If you guys logged in today, you will have seen, I think it was like 108 assets downloaded. So that's the definitely the, the Goku Jr. cards, the event, and we have a couple new cards added to the schedule to be released as well. So... Uh, Goku Jr. card's coming. I will be doing a full in-depth analysis of the card, his Dokun Awakening, and his event in the future. So if you are new here, make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for that information. Uh, this is currently the, the mission section of uh, dbz.space. So that's why I'm just going over the special missions that are coming out. So you can see the Goku Jr.'s over here. That should be starting, I believe, tomorrow. Um, yeah, 9, 8. Actually, no, on uh, September 8th, that's what's starting. Um, we also are getting special events for get, grabbing additional orbs. Now, I did see a post up here in the Reddit um, stating that, we, well, showing that you get more for, depending on what you're going for, uh, different training locations, small, medium, and large. I don't know why it's not showing up here, but we will be getting special mission rewards that will allow us to get potential orbs. So, um, that should be starting in a couple of days, so stay tuned for that. Make sure you go ahead and grind out this Goku Jr. when he comes. Very good card. <clears throat> you will probably want to get both his base form and his Super Saiyan form, Max Dupe System, um, Super Attack 10, so that they link very well with each other. And they can be run on the same team because one's a Super Saiyan, one isn't. Um, it comes also really good on Technique events because he's a good free-to-play card. And he's just the, the Super Saiyan uh, Goku, Goku Jr. is just a really solid unit overall. Very good filler unit as well. Um, in terms of the release schedule, we are getting the Dokken Awakens of the Vegeta Giant 8. Raditz, um, actually just the Vegeta and the Raditz, which are the great apes that Dokken Awaken. So that's something to keep, uh, to, to, you know, keep in mind. Uh, these guys still aren't like ideal for their teams, but I believe now the great apes have the ability to transform two times in battle. Um, so, and then I think their chance has been increased as well, so they actually have a chance to, you know, transform. Uh, so you can go ahead and do that. You can run a great ape team for fun if you want. Um, they Dokken, I believe, from the actual specific great ape event medals. Uh, but I'll be doing that once it comes out. <clears throat> the Goku Jr. is here. I did want to say a couple things. Um, again, thank you to the Reddit for getting that information as well. Uh, you can see the LR Ginyu has now been added to the database. There is no official release time for him, but he's in the database, so we should be getting that information soon um, about when he's going to be released. Hopefully it's soon, and hopefully we'll be getting either Battlefield or another means to actually grab him. He's going to do really well on a mono-physical extreme team, so that's awesome. Two other things is we do have the release now, or at least the inactive cards for Super Gogeta and Janemba, so keep that in mind as well. Um, they are definitely going to be coming out soon. I think we have what, where you have the tech, well, to go on to the next one, where the tech banner did come out for the support unit. So I'm, like, my assumption is going to be the Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku is going to come out. I would assume that we're going to get the Android 17, and then we're probably going to start moving into the other cards, the other 120 leads, like the Gogeta and the Janemba. I don't think, unless we get the, um, what was there? There was another card that came out. Uh, I think we had the, with the Boo, but I th I'm not sure. I forgot, I forgot the release schedule. I'll have to do that in a different video. Um, so, actually, you know, I'll probably be doing that tomorrow. That'll probably be tomorrow's video, the, the release schedule of the new cards. And then the day after that, I'll be doing the review of uh, Goku Jr. Um, the Go the LR Goku rewards still aren't out, so <clears throat> anyone who's waiting for those, sorry, they have not been distributed as of yet. Uh, we will most likely get them tonight, but they could just release them at any point that they want. Um, I'm hoping that they get them today. I would really like the Elder Kai's and uh, the the reimbursement of those tech orbs. I'm probably going to throw some more into that tech product that I have just because he links really well with that LR Goku. And since my LR Goku is 100%, he's hitting like a beast, so I'll probably be running him a lot more often. Last but not least, um, in terms of this news from the Reddit, Category Banner is now live. First gl glance, translation, so Trunks in the banner. Tr LR Trunks is in the banner. I don't know if LR Gohan's in the banner. <clears throat> so, um, it is the Mixed Saiyan banner, so that's pretty freaking awesome. That's this banner right here, by the way. Um, this banner also looks like it is guaranteed SSR for three summons, or it might just be guaranteed SSR period, and you have three discount summons, so that's freaking awesome. So... Uh, if you guys are like, I don't really well out on the JP side, so I just go for the best uh, deals. So like, I just did a multi summon on it because I have like 50 stones, so I did one, and I grabbed myself an agility Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, the the teen the youth one, the one from the Cell games, and um, I didn't have him. So now I have a good support unit for my mono AGL team because I only have mono AG. Well, actually, I have a couple now. 
Um, let me not ramble on about that. A couple other things just to note before we end the video. Core event on the global side. Let me just put global in case you're reading this. <laughs> global side core event end, uh, runs until 9.15. His banner runs until 9.15. The physical banner with the two-time Elder Kai runs until the 8th, so that's three more days. That's when the new event should be coming. Tech banner runs until 9.22. So that's my assumption is that when the Korra ends on 9.15, that's when we should probably be getting the Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku a card. I'm just assuming. I really want the card personally, but I'm not going for him. I do have a perfect team for it, but I, I have enough 120 liters in now. Um, Tree of Might event runs until 9.14. Uh, if you guys don't remember, I did do a video on that, <clears throat> and it is about the Tree of Might event. So essentially, when you run and you want it for the Turlises, because you feed the Turlises, the Token Awaken with the event-specific metals, makes it easier, very easy on your freaking Zenny, because it doesn't eat up a lot of Zenny. I think it's like 200,000 Zenny to Token him. And when you're running the event looking for those additional Turlises, all of the Fruit of the Tree of Might metals can be Baba'd, and you Baba so much of them, it's good for Baba point foddering. So make sure you go ahead and do that. Check out that video if you haven't already done so. And the Battle of Gods event runs until 9-9. So if you're looking to get that uh, Super Saiyan White Hot Face-Off Goku Doken Wake into the God form, either to feed into the Dupads or to feed into your other Super Saiyan God Gokus, now is the time to do it. On the JP side, I know I usually don't do the JP side um, when I talk about this, but I'm going to go ahead and try to start doing that in these videos. Uh, Gohan event is available till 9-14. The Hybrid banner is until 9-14 as well. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, it's 330 stone discount summon. So if, if you're not well, it might be worth it for you to go ahead and try your luck on maybe one summon. Um, I'm going to talk about something else a little bit towards the end of this video. Um, Strength banner runs until 97. Fusion's banner until 914. Gohan event, the actual event that he, uh, for the ultimate Gohan, is available until 914. And the Yosun Goku and his friends return event is running until 914 as well. So other than the strength banner, which is really not a big priority because it does come back every once in a while, everything's running until 914 on the JP side. Now, I did want to state, now I don't have anything actually up here. I was going to put a post up on the Reddit for this, but it is currently September, right? So we have about three more months until it is Christmas time. And if you guys are new to this, uh, well, typically in general, mobile games, gotcha specifically, do a lot of good events for the holidays so they are most likely going to be doing a lot of sick sick events around the holiday time i don't know what they're going to be doing it's just obviously this is a speculation based off of previous events and all the other games i play i mean i do play i was here for christmas last year uh, i believe christmas the year before but i don't think that it was it was crazy two years ago because that's when the game really just first started coming out or well, first came out but last year's Christmas was insane. I think you got like three guaranteed SSRs from all the Dokkan exclusives, or I think it was like the whatever 70% leaders were out. Uh, something, a couple other uh, cards were in that banner as well. I think the 100% leads were out in that banner as well. Uh, but essentially, you were guaranteed SSRs from all the exclusives. And you got so much to choose from Elder Kai banner and everything like that. So if you guys are like debating on what you should be using, using your stones for, um, another recommendation might just be, hey, the two-year anniversary just ended. We have a whole bunch of sick new cards. If you guys have any of the 120 leaders, first off, if you have a decent team, it's probably going to be good enough to get you through the events up until the 150 leads come out. And then when those, once those 150, well, I can't really call them 150, once the category leads come out. Once the category leads come out, and if you get at least one of them, and on the global side, if you were lucky enough to pull one of those, you're already ahead of the game. Um, if you're lucky enough to pull one of them, you're pretty much set and you don't need to go hardcore. I would recommend waiting uh, personally for, you know, being an adult and having to worry about my money situation and everything. I'm probably not going to be going ham again until Christmas just because Christmas time I already know is going to have a ridiculous amount of good cards, good units, good banners, good deals, probably really good sales as well. They always hook it up during the holidays. Plus, I believe Christmas time for us is also just like at the year and a half celebration i think it's actually january for the year and a half celebration but like think about it like that we have the holidays which they usually hook us up with good deals with and then we have the year and a half or two and a half year celebration coming around the corner so just keep that in mind i just want to make sure you guys are aware of that it might be worth saving your stones for that period of time but anyway, guys, that's all. That's everything I want to go over. Thank you for joining me here today. Stay tuned. Again, I will be dropping the Goku Jr. event in the future, along with the Great Ape Dokens. Those are going to be two separate um, videos. Probably Wednesday, Thursday, Friday uh, are going to be the, everything I discussed in this video. 
um, in depth. But thank you for joining me here today. Hit that subscribe button if you're new, and I'll catch you all later.